Okay, so uh, in this video, I'm going to uh, share to you how to create a very simple script uh, from uh, Grasshopper. And I'm going to use the Tecla Grasshopper component uh, to read this script and use it in uh, creating a model in Tecla structure. So this one will be a very basic one. Uh, so from our uh, uh, screen as you can see I have the Tecla structure on the right and Rhino on the left so first of course you need to open the Tecla structure and then open the Rhino and then under the uh, Rhino you just simply type here grasshopper and then enter so once you uh, uh, type the grasshopper so the grasshopper link or the grasshopper canvas uh, will open and we're going to start our work in our uh, grasshopper canvas. So we're going, as, uh, as I mentioned earlier, so we're going to create a very basic uh, script here, right? So now from, from this uh, grasshopper canvas, okay, the first thing uh, to do is uh, you can uh, select this uh, Tecla here, Tecla 2022, okay? And uh, what we're going to do is uh, we're going to pick a point in Tecla structure model, okay? And to do that, I need to uh, select this uh, uh, Tecla point on uh, our grasshopper. So just simply uh, put that one on your canvas. So this is the Tecla point. So from this Tecla point, all you have to do is to right click on this and then set one Tecla point. So meaning, once I select this uh, set one Tecla point, uh, you need to go to the Tecla structure and then here it will uh, uh, tell us to pick position. So you can pick any position. So let's say for example this one, these coordinates. And then now it will go back to uh, our uh, grasshopper canvas. And then as you can see here, I have that point and then I have this uh, Tecla point. So this Tecla point consists of what? Uh, of X, Y, and Z. So meaning, uh, this X, Y, and Z, sorry, X, Y, and Z, uh, you, can, uh, uh, you can use that one in uh, creating the, uh, the line, okay? So at the moment, we have only one point, so we need to create two points in able for us to create a line. So if you notice in your uh, grasshopper or in your uh, uh, rhino, so so if I zoom in here, zoom out on the perspective, this is the point that I have created. So meaning, uh, when I pick the point on Tecla, it will also um, add this point in your Rhino uh, model, okay? So again, enable for us to use the, uh, this point, we need to deconstruct the point. So here, I just simply type here deconstruct enabled for me to uh, to get the uh, x y and z value so this is the the, the construct so if you uh, put that tecla point to this point then this one now it will uh, i'm going to have the uh, x y and z in a different uh, uh, i mean the the value of x and y and z will be deconstructed so if i type here panel so as you can see here if I put the Tecla point on the panel, it shows you the, the X, Y, Z, okay? 3,000, 3,000, and zero. Zero is the Z direction. So here, if I now link this uh, X component to the panel, so it will show me the, the 3,000, the Y is also uh, 3,000, and then the Z value is zero. So this, this one is the X, Y, and Z uh, forming this point, okay? Remember, every point consists of x y and z all right so i'll leave this one there okay so now uh the next the next one is we're going to create a, a we're going to construct a point okay so um on on the z direction by the way uh, what we are trying to uh, to create here is a very basic uh, column column and uh, let's say column and foundation okay column and foundation model, and then we're going to add the reinforcement on that one using the 
uh, grasshopper uh, script. Okay, so uh, now from uh, from this canvas, you can just simply type again point. Okay, and as you can see, or sorry, you can type here construct point. Construct point, this one, construct point. So as you can see here, the construct point, uh, my x and y, I should have this the same value of the x and y of this tecla point. So meaning, uh, I can just simply pick this x and y, link that one to my construct point, all right? Now I have to, uh, uh, I have to uh, uh, co control the z direction. So, uh, as you can see here, z direction. I need to put a value here. So we can type a slider here. Just simply type slider, and there is a number slider here. And then you can change this one to uh, uh, integer, and then you put the maximum value. So what will be the maximum value of the uh, uh, of how, let's say the height of the column. Let's say I'm going to add uh, 10 meters. So that one will be the maximum value. And then I'm going to link. So I'm going to link that one to the Z direction. And then as you can see here. The point will be shown here. So this one is the uh, Tecla point 1. And then this one is the. Uh, the, the the point B okay so now that I have two points I can form a line now All right so I have the points and then with these two points I can form a line so as you can see here I have 3,000 here if you just uh, want to type here uh, let's say five five meters and then hit okay so I have a five meter uh, height of column so in this number slider you can right click and then you can type here column height column height so you can rename that one this one is very important because it will show this one as a parameter in our uh, grasshopper component in tecla structure later all right so i have my first parameter here so the next one is uh, i have a point one or point one and then point two so now I need to create a line. So type a line, this one. So this line now, I'm going to uh, uh, connect this tecla point on the start and then the, uh, the point B on the end point. So now if you, go, if you look onto the uh, Rhino model, so this one is the uh, uh, the point A and point B and then it will form a line. So I have now the line. So this one I can control the height So here up to 10 meter Okay So that one is a very basic uh, script on creating a uh, element from uh, Grasshopper and then this time I have the line so I'm going to convert this one to Tecla structure profile so what I will do is uh, the next part here is I'm going to select the uh, uh, this one um, column. Okay, so I have this column. So this column consists of a uh, one point. So I'm going to uh, um, uh, link this line to the curve. And at the moment you don't see anything yet because there's no profile so for the profile I'm going to select the uh, profile catalog here and then under the profile catalog I can just simply type any profile that I I, I, I want to use so at, at the for this example I'm going to use a, a D or diameter um, 1,000 maybe 1,000 1 meter so meaning the profile is diameter one meter and there you go so as you can see here I have now the profile of uh, this column diameter one if you double click on this one as you can see here the this one will be the uh, one meter or uh, if you notice this one is a steel so I think I need to uh, change this one let me just remove it remove it delete this one 
and I'm going to use this concrete. So concrete, and then curve, and then profile, and there you go. So if you want to change the uh, the attributes, okay. So you can you can call an attributes here. So if you notice here, there's uh, something like a uh, an attributes. Let's check attributes. So part attributes, select the part attributes, and then as you can see here, you can link the, these attributes to this one, and then uh, with this one, you can change, let's say if you want to change the class, all you have to do is uh, double click and then type, say, 14. That one is a number slider for uh, 14, and then put that one on the class, and then as you can see here, it will change the color of your column. All right? So now we have this column now, and all we have to do is to add now the, uh, we need to add the reinforcement here, okay? For the meantime, the reinforcement that I'm going to use is the uh, reinforcement uh, number 83. So here, if I type here 83 or 82, yeah, number 82, round column reinforcement, okay? Remember this one. So how I'm going to call that one inside the, the Grasshopper script. So all you have to do here is to pick on the component. Okay. Oh, sorry. Not this one, but um, is this the one? Yes, component. And then it's very important that you put a uh, name. All right, the name. So for the name, I need to use this component and then double click this catalog and then type here 82. Oh, sorry. 82 and then where's that 82? 82. Check the round column reinforcement, this one. And link this one to the name. All right. Now, uh, automatically there will be a plugin input. Then you just simply type here plugin. Plugin input. So as you can see here, uh, link the column to the input and then the plugin input to this plugin input here. And then you can see what what uh, will happen in our model. There you go, see? You can have now this uh, reinforcement to the column. Now, uh, this one is just using a uh, component standard. If you want to uh, uh, to put a uh, an attributes to this component, of course, uh, you need to modify that one first in your Tecla structure and then save it here. So let's say, for example, in this uh, in this uh, element, what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend the, the reinforcement here. So, okay, let's say the number of bars is uh, instead of 6, I'll put here 15, modify. So there will be more bar. And then the uh, I will extend this one to 1 meter. Okay, modify. See this. And then if you want, you can change that one to the, uh, uh, I can change also the uh, the bottom to a negative, or sorry, uh, one five. And then this one will be uh, 500, modify. So there you go. So this is the column, rebar. All right, now, all you have to do is to change. Okay, if, we, if you want to change the stirrups, instead of 300 and put 200, then modify and then I can save this one as column rebar. Column column rebar. Okay, I'll copy this one, copy, and then save us. Alright, so now okay, look. I'm going to close this one. Let let us uh, delete this one first, and then here I'm going to recompute the comp uh, the component so it will uh, if you notice, it, it goes back to the standard rebar here. So all I have to do now is to add the attributes file here. I just simply type here uh, panel. Okay, and then under this panel, double click and then paste the column rebar. So meaning this column rebar is going to, uh, it's going to all the column rebar attributes and then put that one to attribute file. See? There you go. As simple as that. So this one is a very uh, basic script. So from uh, from Tecla point, deconstruct the point, 
make a line and then uh, create the uh, uh, rebar component for this particular column. Okay, so uh, for uh, for the foundation, okay, for the foundation, uh, let me just uh, create uh, another uh, uh, points for this uh, foundation. So what I will do is uh, construct the point again. So construct point. All right, so this time, uh, this one will be the foundation. So what I'm going to do here is, uh, again, add, let's say five meters, number slider. And then uh, I'll put here negative instead. Negative 10,000. So again, I'm going to uh, use the uh, uh, X and Y here, X and Y, and then this time I'm go I will put negative here. So let's see if that one will have the negative impact here. It seems that, yeah, see, that one is the negative one. So it goes down. So now, from this point, uh, we're going to add now the line. So using the this point, okay, this one will be a right click and then this one will be foundation height or, or footing height. Okay, so again, create the line. So line. So this line, what will be the start? The start will be the bottom one. Okay, and then the end will be the Tecla point. Okay, so again, all you have to do is to add the. Uh, okay, I'll, I'll copy this one. Alt, Alt key, and then this time I'm going to uh, uh, copy the. Uh, okay, maybe I'll just simply copy this uh, one, two, three, four. Okay, Alt key, so that you can copy, and. This one, the profile catalog, I'll put here instead of D100. So I'm going to uh, type here uh, uh, 3 meters by 3 meters. All right. Mm, there you go. All right. And then change the color. All right. So you have now the, the foundation here. Okay. So I'm going to extend this one a little bit. Right, there you go, maybe a negative 2 five. Okay, same thing. Enable for us to add the reinforcement here. Uh, we need to use the 77 pad footing. All, all you have to do is to select this one and then Alt key. Okay. So I'm going to remove this one. Disconnect. I don't have the attributes here. So I'm going to I'm going to try to uh, to put without the attributes, just simply sim simply the normal uh, foundation, okay, the standard. So again, here you go to the input, okay, because that one is still the uh, number 82. We need to change now the component here to 77 uh, pad footing reinforcement, and then hit OK, and there you go. That's it. So you have now the. Uh, pad putting reinforcement and then again here you can change the uh, the height here yeah. so at the moment the, the the control of this one I did not open it here but uh, um, as you can see the control will will just simply control the element not the reinforcement but again for the uh, for the changes of the uh, uh, section of course if I change the uh, size of the column here, let's say D1500, modify or okay, see it changed the reinforcement. 
Okay, so all you have to do now is to save this one. Save. Okay, and then uh, let's see. What, okay, save here. We'll, we'll type here uh, column and then foundation. Column foundation gh. Save, save it. And then, all you have to do now is to open the Tecla structure. So we're done with our, uh, we're done with our uh, script in, uh, in Grasshopper. Okay. Now, let's close it. So all we have to do now is to open the Grasshopper component in Tecla structure. And then, uh, look for the definition path. So, go to the... Uh, uh, file that you saved earlier. There you go. This one, column, foundation, and then uh, you can see now it will load the uh, uh, the, the parameters in uh, Grasshopper component. So let's wait for the activation of the Grasshopper first behind the scene inside the Tecla structure. Okay, so as you can see here, you have now the catalog, the attributes file, the profile catalog, and these are all the parameters that we set earlier in the script. So all you have to do is to apply this one and then pick the grasshopper component and then pick the position and wait. There you go. So you have now the, the model using the uh, grasshopper component. And uh, here, as you can see, the, the attribute file is three bars. So let's change back to standard. Okay, and then modify. And there you go. So again, if you uh, change this one, uh, let's say the height of the column, you can uh, change the height of the column. All right. And then this one, you can change this one to 5 meters by 5 meters. Modify. So, there you go. Apply. So, just simply pick the point. And you can have now the different size. So, this one, you can change the height of the foundation. All right. So... Again, this is the basic uh, uh, tutorial for the uh, Grasshopper script and uh, using the Tecla Structure Grasshopper component. Thank you.